Are you ready? Really ready? You're like, yes, I am. Okay. Here it is. Ooh, so good. Wait. Wait. Okay. Yes, good girl. This is so funny. I'm like so entertained by this. It, the dish she has has been empty for at least five minutes at this rate. And she's still sitting there licking it. She's like, oh, I just really wish there was more of that. She's going to have a big sigh soon. <laughs> I'm happy, though, that she enjoyed it. Hey, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is December 3rd. I just wanted to pick up the camera and start doing some vlogging for Vlogmas because I had planned to start vlogging December 1st, and it just did not happen. I underestimated how much going to the doctor was going to take out of me, and I definitely underestimated how much the Christmas party was going to take out of me. Because I guess, like, in my head, I was like, oh, well, it's a Facebook event. Like, it's not going to be that tiring. It was, it was really good, but it was so exhausting. So, like, I still have not finished responding to comments and stuff because I've actually been super, super wiped out from it. Um, which is just so crazy in my personal opinion. But, like I said, I just wanted to start vlogging a little bit. But, uh, we had a pretty great day today. Well, great day in the afternoon. It was a rough morning. Um, and I did find out I might have been exposed to COVID. The person is going to go get tested and let me know. Um, they suddenly lost their taste of smell and taste sense sense of smell and sense of taste so that is definitely an issue so they're going to get tested and let me know which is I'm not even like really gonna say it's scary at this point like it's a little bit nerve-wracking but I mean it's just been looming out there for you know so long um, and I know that I'm doing everything that I possibly can to stay healthy. When I was in contact with her, I did have a mask on, but I don't feel that those are 150%. Um, I do feel like it's a sneaky virus and you can still end up with it even if you think you're doing everything right. So, and obviously not everybody presents with symptoms in the beginning, so that is definitely, I think, why it's so problematic, um, in part. Anyways, so that was in part my morning, so that's why a little bit stressful, I didn't really anticipate that. But I was able to get done two videos today, which I was super happy about and super excited. Got done a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of stuff for Bible study. Um, did a little bit of reading, and I got to video chat with my best friend, so that's always nice, and it's always, like, a great, you know, thing to, I guess, like, lift up your spirits and just enjoy, like I keep saying, the holiday season. I feel like a big part of the holiday season is obviously um, the social interactions that we have, and just because we can't be in person with people doesn't mean that we don't still try to connect with people. So video chat is definitely a great thing. Highly recommend it. Especially if you're somebody with chronic illness, you should have already been utilizing this tool. So it's definitely a great thing and definitely had fun just chatting for, you know, a little bit. It's always like just Can I feel the joy of being with you? How can I chase the pain away for good? Well, this is calling me, holy snow too. I bring some mistletoe with me. Christmas is waiting for you hanging out here. I figured I would get a little nice clip of them, huh? So for anybody who doesn't know, the gray one walking up the steps, that's Gracie. And the other one, that is Sadie Rose. So Rosie, what you doing, mama? 
So I did see neurology um, December 1st. We don't have concrete answers. We definitely don't have as much as I had hoped for. I was a little bit disappointed. My hopes were up a little bit, I guess, too high, one might say. Um, but it's really hard to know like the balance of where to put your hope, I would say, because you need hope. Um, but getting your hopes up like so high and then, you know, having them deflated, that is really hard too. I think though, overall I'm doing well with it. He is still saying I have myopathy, which is basically like muscle disease and weak muscles, wasted muscle. My nurse did also say though that I've had more muscle wasting in my chest area around my port, which I wasn't really in expecting to hear. But it does make sense because I have had a lot of weakness when I'm trying to use my arms and use my phone or even hold up a book. Very simple things or like lifting a cup, lifting a fork, like I've noticed a difference. So she did notice, like I said, that the muscle mass has gone down compared to last week. So I'm not really sure why it would be like so sudden. I don't know if we're just noticing it or if it truly did happen very quickly. Um, the neurologist is concerned that my seizure activity has picked up. I'm not going to say that I'm not concerned, but I know this is going to sound silly. I'm not as frustrated with the seizures. I find them embarrassing and um, difficult for my family. It is difficult for me to hear how hard it is for them, but for me, I'm clueless, you know. Um, I do feel sick after a lot of times, but other than that, like, time pauses for me. I'm gone. So, I mean, I know I can get, like, super hurt and stuff, but what I'm going to say is I want him to focus equally on my weakness. I don't want, like, the weakness to be pushed off to the side, and that's where the seizure like thought process comes from so I don't want you to think like I'm not actually downplaying them I understand how um how much they can do damage and everything I totally get that um but I also want to find out why I'm progressively getting weaker like every few weeks and why am I struggling to do things that are really easy to do I mean I'm in my 20s and I kind of like some days really think like put in a lot of effort and focus and concentration to go from sitting to standing and it should not be that difficult it should just be something that I can do a lot easier and the amount of effort like I'm saying that I'm putting into it and concentration it's just a red flag to me so I just want him to give them both like equal attention at this point um, just because I think they're both very important to whatever is going on. I did, though, mention to him, I was like, you know, my mast cells are doing really poorly at the moment. Maybe in some weird way this is mast cell related. Um, I didn't really get an answer. Also threw on the table, could this be steroid related? Could I be on the wrong steroid? So, um, we're not like, he's not giving up, but we don't have as clear of answers as we had hoped. I'd hoped for a little bit more detail, I guess you could say, but I'm happy that he's not dismissing me. Um, we're talking about possibly getting some other <laughs> smart doctors on the case, um, to kind of go back and forth with him because he feels like he's out of his league. So, which is always a tough pill to swallow, to always be that patient, but I am definitely thankful to have a neurologist at this point. He tweaked the meds and stuff, um, but we will just see. So I guess that's all I'm going to say on the neurology topic for the time being. You'll hear about it, I'm sure, probably tomorrow, knowing my symptoms. I mean, you're not going to hear about the doctor, but who knows? might mention how how I'm really doing with all the craziness. Alright guys, so we're just going to end this here. 
thanks for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and check back tomorrow because it's vlogmas and there's vlogs going up all the time